be heard at the Lowndes County Administration Office on uh, Tuesday, November 11th at 5.30 in the afternoon. This concludes the city, hay hour, and county cases. We have a few little business items to take care of. Jason, you want to approve this 2015 calendar this time? Sir, Ms. Carmelo, I think brought up just for discussion. Ma'am, I don't know if you just want to take it for a month with anticipated and maybe keep it on the agenda for adoption the following month. But if you didn't have any comments or changes, um, we just wanted to share it for consideration. Yes, I mean, if you have any changes, please make sure to let one of us know. Some of us that's a holiday, for some of us it is not. Um, I know in the past, my owner would always bring that up. Mm -hmm. It was a federal holiday, a booty, you know, it's not active that day. Um, if you want to leave the draft as is to have the work session, then we'll leave alone. Otherwise, we can make a change and have a revised version for you at the next meeting. Anybody, anybody have Mark Burr being on President's Day? I can understand why the hour would have been oh, yeah. weekend for us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> City and county offices are open. So we're here. Uh, one thing this uh, one thing that uh, Brad and myself and Jason and Mike uh, and uh was talked about was changing the work session from a what we're doing right now with it, reviewing the packages to where we'll come in for an hour, hour and a half at a set time, receive our training, pick up our packages, and not discuss them until we have the audience in front of us. I don't know. Well, well, the thought was to email your, the packets to you well ahead of time, uh -huh. and if you have questions about the agenda items, then you can bring up the questions okay. for the work session. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we we, we had a lot of y'all's knowledge that we need to get. Yeah. But we, I do, we could that. also gain a lot from any training that they did. Well, I understand that, but there's so many of these issues that brought up each week, especially in a, in a front of an audience, that we need to have some type of prior knowledge to before okay. we can make some kind of reasonable mm -hmm. recommendation. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, it was just a discussion. Yeah, we probably would try that for the next month. To maybe go look at something additional after discussion, after they present the case. Because you can't make that decision in a work session anyway. You can only ask questions. So. Okay. Very well. If I'm not Please. to speak for myself, my only call for the reason I brought it up was basically these gentlemen are making the same presentation twice. The only time they legally need to make it is our actual voting meeting. So it was just a matter of us saving time sitting here. Instead of sitting here for two hours, possibly, we're not sitting here for an hour on one of those occasions. You know, I'm not. So that we would get the package, we'd be able to review it, and if we had questions about that, we could ask rather than making the same presentation for us. Because they have to make it at the, at the voting table. I, I enjoyed that. That was my only. I enjoy having to being able to communicate during the work session. I really do, yeah. but I wish we could get some training in that time. And here, for the last mm -hmm. six months, we haven't been able to. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. I heard. Yeah, I don't have a problem with training. It's just that I have learned so much more. If I miss a work session like tonight, <laughs> all you got to do is miss one, and then you have missed a lot of the information that you had in the work session that is very pertinent to the cases that you're just here for the first time here, that you might want to say, oh, okay, well, maybe I want to look at this a little bit. No, I don't think it's not that we want to necessarily try to, you understand? Know, and I know, I know you'll see this. You're free, so why are we worried about it? I'm just like, you can't be relying on that police and we'll have no attorney. <laughs> well, there's nothing else said. Nothing else we can do. Let's call this meeting adjourned. Can I? Can I add one more?
Bring one more thing up. I'm like Columbo. One more thing. We discussed briefly in the uh, uh, motion early about the sign ordinance and was complaining about the uh, sign ordinance in Hay Hire. Is that something that we need to, that we may agree on to send a letter from the chairman to the city of Hay Hire? <laughs> To, to uh, uh, evaluate or sign Where's he at? <laughs> the acting. <laughs> I don't know. You know? I mean, we're not a legislative body. We act according to the law of the past that we have to deal with. And as soon as the council passes a law of we just deal with it. It's my fault. So yeah, I mean, I if you want to understand, understand and formally go to the council and say, I'm going to report the commission. So not my thing is. We, we run into the reason I said that is we run into the issues. It's not. It's not the first time this has happened. The only thing, if I y'all heard of the deal, we're in the Atlanta Commission. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. It's the actual zoning documents from it. Uh, which I don't know. Maybe it's on one of the zoning documents in a fashion, in a fashion. It's part of zoning regulations. Mm -hmm. yeah. The importance. Now, in each of your variance requests dealing with signage has been different types of requests and it is no secret that pay higher sign regulations are more than out of date. Um, but the Gateway Court Overlay Districts are fairly new. And they're written more like modern sign breaks, but down to a small area. Isn't that something called Milligan Hamilton? Just a call. Just a call. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be quick to point out she no longer does any work on Hay Howard. I've already made a note to mention it at the Hay Howard City Council work session. This is a, an informational thing. Um, I'm sure Mr. Raker may have had some other discussions with some folks that may yet. But, but just, it was hard enough, all the all those different violations that Mr. Raker brought out to deny that man sign. <laughs> well, but then I, you know, opinions vary, but I also worry about the future. The other out, the other two out parcels yeah, at the shopping well, center, I've heard the rest it. of the court. And there's already a signed area set aside for this parcel. So now they have that plus an extra sign that no one else there has. Matt, you know Mr. Robinson's connection with Harvey, don't you? Well, I do. And also, we've had a long history. I want to clarify something that he said. Um, he turned in his application back in June, and we did not process it because it was not complete. And it was not complete because he did not have a letter of authorization from the owner. This was before he actually closed and bought the property. Is that Wilby? Wilby Coleman, okay. And the reason he did not have a letter of authorization is Mr. Coleman, who owns now the out parcels, or we call it, except this one now, he refused to give the letter of authorization because he was not in favor of a variance. And unfortunately, he did not, yet, even though I suggested it, was write a letter in opposition for this variance case. He didn't want to go that far. But he withdrew and withheld his authorization. So it wasn't until Mr. Robinson actually bought and closed on the property could he then submit the application by himself. So that, there was a little bit of misleading going on there, but that's why it was put in June. Now his plans were turned in before then, and reviewed and approved the site, and there was some delay because, as he said, the stormwater issues, which was a, indeed a concern, but they had to work that out. Um, and it's under construction, and so it's to be built currently under plans without this sign. It was not that big of an issue to them to hold up construction. It certainly didn't break the deal with other House. He wanted an extra sign. It'll look good. And I've heard rumors there's another restaurant pad going to be across the way now. Uh, there's offer all sorts of rumors too, but nothing, no one has come forward it. about any other property there. Seen anything like that. <laughs> all right, I'm making a motion we're going to cancel this thing for the evening. Anybody else want to say anything before I hit this thing again for comments? I second the motion. Adjourn. There's one more. No. <laughs>